Well, I tried to catch it. That one was spinning. This one wasn't. That one's a lot harder to spin, of course. That's how turbulent the winds are out here. Well, here we are. Here's the modified one. It's chugging along. I think the highest I've seen it go was probably 150. And keep in mind, the PMG is spinning twice as fast. So it's doing about 280 RPMs. And if we go to this other one here, this one's the seven blade. This thing will shoot up to like 450. But it, it fluctuates pretty good. Oh, hey, oh, hey, 400. Let's see what this one's doing. There you go, 162. That's the highest I ever seen it go. And we'll take a look outside, see what they're doing. There's my lightning dog, Max. Excuse me, buddy. both are. That one's really humming along. That one's just chugging along. Nothing special. And because the pole is shorter, um, I can't get 80 Falcons or 80 inch Falcons on there. But I can get them on that one. I got a set of five blade um, Falcon 5's coming. Those are 62 inches. I'm going to throw those up there on that one. If that doesn't work, I'll get the 80 inch. And I'll put that modified one on that pole, drop the chains down a little bit, and then take the seven blades off of that one and put the, the Falcon 5s on there. As far as power, these things have been plugged in for a while now. Check the watt meter here. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, 6.8 watts, kilowatts. Actually, that was 0.68 kilowatts in 282 hours. This one over here, I'll have to turn the light on. This one over here is 0 0.78 in 282 hours. Okay. That one's actually spinning pretty good. But same scenario. Um, looks like the seven blade regular PMG is going to beat out the modified one. We'll see what the Falcon 5 blades do to this thing. Because its output still isn't really that great. But it's working. <laughs> Just not as good as I'd hoped. Well, here we are at the back of my house with my ADD camera, I'll call it. This thing has a problem of staying focused when it needs to. There are my wind turbines up there. And I left a ladder on the roof because I'm up there all the time messing with these things. Anyway, let me jump up there. Okay, Jason, here's a closer look at my setup. You can see how close the blades are and if that's a 60 inch spread um, the 80 inch well 81 let's just round it off to 80 20 inch difference that means I'd need 10 extra inches of length before it hits that bracket. Um, the reason why I cut this pole shorter is because originally this one was really shaken. I had to put those guide chains on there up as high as high as possible. With this one here, 
it's on the end of the house, so I can't really put chains to mount it securely. Um, originally, as you'll see here, I was just using some round uh, pipe. Well, what happened was when I put the guide chains on and I started tightening them up, the round pipe was flexing. So then I decided to weld some angle iron and everything. I really don't want to switch these around if I don't have to. That's why I'm going with the five blade Falcon Mach 5s because they are only 62 inches that will definitely fit on there in place of that one. Okay, now the high wind day is over. That was yesterday. Okay, and uh, I'm wondering something about these kilowatt meters. Just to have this thing plugged in takes 2.2 watts. Okay, when you're making power, does it just add that on to the 2.2? Or, because you know it don't go backwards. Um, I think this thing just uh, reads total power being used or coming out and so far I've made on my modified 0.72 kilowatts in almost 300 hours well if it's 2.2 watts just to have it plugged in I didn't even make that then um, that's the modified one Okay, going over here, got a regular seven blade one, made 8.84 kilowatts in almost 300 hours. That means my modified has failed. The 11 blade compared to the seven blade. So, well, let's take a look at what's really going on here. Here's my electric bill. Okay, and charges per day for this year, okay, is $3.57. Okay, that's what I use is 22.6 kilowatt hours per day on an average. Well, so the most I can ever save per day is $3.57. Okay, and that comes out to roughly, including the new facility fees, which they, now it's $15, it used to be $9. Um, so it comes out to about $0.16 cents a kilowatt. Well, between the two, I may be made... 25 cents in 300 hours. Okay, now I know this is not set up the way they recommend. My poles are not 65 feet in the air. They can't be. Um, I can't have guide wires going into the neighbor's yard. I don't have a two-story house. I do have low wind. Um, I did grind blades down on the 11 blade modified okay so of course it's not going to it's not going to put out the power that it's supposed to under regular circumstances where if I were to have it 65 feet in the air I would be getting better wind and making better power but how much more uh, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference um, as far as wind turbines go I don't think they're they're actually in my area in under my circumstances they are definitely not worth it. We'll see what the Mach 5 blades do. If it makes a difference. Um, what I'm really interested in now is the solar panels that I got. And I have a feeling they are going to be far better investment. You know, for for the wattage, for the money. 
And the one making all that noise is Marina. Little sky bombs. There's Maximus down there again. All PMGs are not created totally equal. Here's another look at the core I pulled out and I noticed the laminated plate, there's a flaw in it. Looks like uh, two or three are sticking out a little further than the rest of them. This is from that 12 volt. Will it make a difference? Probably not. Um, what the company that makes these needs to do though, if they can, is to try and figure out a way to make them so the cut in the cut in speed is a lower RPM than 240 because then I wouldn't be forced to modify the one that I had because the way these are now um, with the wind I got you know they just don't make enough power you know that's why I had to modify mine you know two to one trying to get the RPMs up there well it failed but we'll see what the other blades do uh, which is a good thing Jeff is coming out with the uh, wind tunnel testing that would have helped me out a lot I hope he includes RPM readings along with different wind speeds or gusts or whatever turbulent wind is always going to be a factor um, I'm sure he's not going to have uh, any turbulent wind on his will just be straight wind but that would have probably saved me a lot of money if he would have came out with that sooner um, I had a neighbor say hey I see you got your uh, wind turbine set up are you making any power I'm like yeah well I'm making power I was well how much have you saved I said well none really <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him I made 25 cents in 300 hours you know between the two of them so unless I can figure out this blade thing these are really not worth it um, not in my situation um, if you live somewhere else where it's windier by the side of a cliff or something they might work wonderful but in low wind areas you know even the 11 blade there's just not enough RPMs it doesn't spin fast enough um, but what are you going to do? I got to work with um, what I got. And that's the way it is. So, solar is looking like a, a lot better option for me.